Hi, this is Paul from Wave5Trade.com and this is my daily stock signals video for Thursday the 9th of August where I take one of the signals from our membership area and set it up on a chart. So in our members area, our members get the opportunity to download spreadsheets every day for potential long and short fifth wave trades on the weekly, daily and the 60 minute time frame. Also stochastic longs and stochastic short signals as well on intraday and daily time frames. The fifth wave is the highest probability move in a trend and Elliott wave sequence. Therefore, this is uh, one of the uh, top priorities for traders on multiple time frames. So I'm going to go look at the long fifth wave trades today. In the members area for today, as you see, the 9th of August. All the other ones are backdated there as well. Uh, just click on the image and download the spreadsheet. The spreadsheet for today looks something like this. This is the uh, potential longs on the 60 minute time frame for fifth wave trades today. Quite a few today. Uh, we also have for daily and the weekly. But I'm going to concentrate on the 60 minute time frame today and look at and set up one of these. So I'm using our Wave 5 Trade Elliott Wave Indicator suite for the Ninja Trader NT8 version for this example. It's also available for TradeStation, Multicharts and Think or Swim. I've chosen NTR from that spreadsheet on the 6 minute time frame for a potential long. Uh, we've got the lows down here in, in July. Um, before that, if we just zoom out, we did we, couldn't, we did come down to these lows. Now isolating this is relatively easy. Uh, we do have quite a few gaps in here. There are some different, slight differences in data, but not a great deal. Uh, but I think this low here is a suitable place for isolation. And then our Elliott Wave Indicator Suite automatically labels the Elliott Wave sequence. One, two, three, four. And it's the fourth wave and its behavior is of interest to us right now uh, as we've got this up on the scanner and this builds up some of those filters that we see on the scanner here. So we've got three probability zones uh, for our wave four pullback, the green, the amber and the red. Currently the wave four has found initial support on the six minute time frame in the green zone. That gives us an 85% probability it's going to go on making a new wave five high interautomated target zones up here around about 59.40 something like that into that blue zone there. So really good strong probability. We just need to move out from there. The next filter on our stocks membership is the 535 oscillator. This measures how the wave four performs as well. And as you can see, we have pulled back between 90 and 140 percent of the highest point on the wave three of the oscillator. So that's a really good sign. The next filter is our false breakout stochastic. Now the, the yellow dots on the top of the stochastic denote a really strong bullish move. The stochastic is pulled back against them. It's on it's an elastic band if you like. It wants to return to that strong bullish move and form some more yellow dots. So it's crossed over in the oversold zone which is a really good sign. The 535 is good. The wave force found great support. Nice indecision doji at that wave four low and then we've been moving gradually up from there yesterday. So we are looking for an entry today. We're going to look for an entry above this pivot high here. So 57.23. It's way outside of the six ball moving average high, the green moving average here, which we use for initial entry positions uh, on our indicator suite. We also have to take into account previous price action. And this was a, a rejection before the move high. So we just need to be above there. So 57.23 is the entry. The stop loss is 56.34. That gives us a great risk to reward of 1 to 2.5 into our target zone there. So you could even be a little bit more conservative um, with an entry if you wanted to be, but I think this is conservative enough. Gives us a great risk to reward and potentially a really great reward. Now you've got to be uh, aware on a 60 minute time frame this could take 5 uh, maybe 6 trading days. So this is Thursday. If it does trigger today you must be prepared to carry it over the weekend or just take profit where it is on the Friday. So just to be aware on that, it can take five, maybe seven training days to reach that target uh, for a fifth wave 
are on a 60 minute time frame so just to be aware of that if you have to carry it over the weekend so that's it for today uh, have a great trading day and i'll speak to you all tomorrow